Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm a little bit late by about, well, probably like two or three years. Never mind, so on my feed on TikTok, all I am getting is this foundation all the time. Il Maquillage woke up like this, so I thought I'd review it. So I did the quiz and the shade that came out was 035. Now I already know the outcome of this video because I've used this product before. I've already tested it. So I'm just going to prep the skin. I'm actually using Yves Lom Time Retreat, um, which is actually just a toner. And I'm just going to apply this to my skin to get a nice base because this gives a really nice finish to the skin. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is tell you whether it really lives up to its hype and show you an alternative. So I'm gonna give it a shake and I'm gonna start with one pump, which is in my world overkill, <laughs> but we'll see where we go. So I'm just gonna dot it, three on each cheek, on the nose, and there's still you know, a decent amount left. I'm going to take this brush by Rose Ink, which is brush number three, and I'm going to blend this in. So I'll use one pump, but I will probably use just a little bit more because I know that I really am quite frugal when it comes to foundation. So you can see it's a decent match to my skin. The quiz did pretty well, you know, it's very good. So let me tell you the first thing that I don't like, and then I'll talk about what I do like. I do not like the fragrance in it. I find it to be really offensive. It offends my nostrils. Now I am particularly sensitive to fragrance. So that's worth mentioning. You may not notice it and it isn't horrific, but it's got a real synthetic perfume to it, which I just do not care for in the slightest. That is the only negative, other than the fact that my feed is just, you know, this foundation, this foundation. That is the only negative to it. That is one coat, one pump of foundation. This is a medium coverage foundation. I'm gonna do around about half a pump more, just to build up a little bit of coverage on certain areas that need it just to show you and then we'll add a bit of color to the face and we'll give you the final talk so you can see it's flawless it is the skin looks brilliant and I think it is one of the best foundations in terms of liquid because it applies beautifully. It is gorgeous in every way and shape. It really is. The finish is stunning. No application is complete without a touch of blusher. I'm gonna test this one out, which is by um, Ionic London, Iconic London, Ionic. Iconic London, and this is Kissed by the Sun. And it's this really pretty shade here. So I'm just gonna, so I've not used this yet, so let's see how it goes. Oh, it's very, very shimmery. Gives, gives a nice glow, but oh, it's got a gold reflect to it. But it's very pretty, very pretty indeed. Okay, here we go. Let me just... Blend those edges in. That's a very pretty blusher. Okay, it's glorious. Everything about this foundation is glorious. It's beautiful, the coverage is beautiful. When you use one and a half pumps, yes, it looks a bit like foundation, but it's not horrific. It's very, very stunning. The fragrance for me is just a no-no. There's no need for it whatsoever. And therefore, I wouldn't buy this again be, or to use on me because of the fragrance. It's just, I find it too much. And it really isn't that strong, but there's just this real synthetic 
kind of floral note to it, which I find very offensive. Now, this product here, Makeup Forever Ultra HD, is it H Ultra HD or HD foundation, is virtually identical in pretty much every way, shape and form, minus the fragrance. So if you have this, you don't really need this. And it's entirely up to you, but I did half a face just testing them and I noticed like no difference whatsoever, nothing. It was completely the same. So for me, my money would go on the HD foundation only because, well, there's no fragrance. That's the only reason. It's a wonderful foundation, but there's just too much irritation for me when it comes to this fragrance. I just can't bear it. And I can still kind of smell it on my skin, which I don't like. You can see from the finish of it, and I use quite an emollient base, that this is a matte finish. You do get a matte finish from this. It's not dewy in the slightest, but it's beautiful. It's totally your choice. For me, it's wonderful, but I can't recommend it for myself because of the fragrance. It's just too irritating for me. The HD is more my cup of tea, but they're really almost identical. Let me know what you think. I appreciate your time very much, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.